The Searing Shoot is here for Blue Collar Prepping. This is part two of a do-it-ourselves ash or soot sifting bucket. And as you can see, this is the line I made last week. And then after thought about it, I'm like, no, I want it to be a little more shallow than that. So I cut up here. And this is why. Instead of using some kind of proprietary kind of epoxy or glue or my favorite dab, I thought, well, why even do that? Let's just take my old screen. It's a little shallower slide it right in there and I don't need to glue nothing. I can dump all my soot and what have you in there. Put a lid on it. I still have my handle. Chugga, 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 chugga. There we go. How well does it work? Well, it's still raining up here in Northern Michigan. This is the nicest day we've had in a few days. It's rained for the last two. So we're gonna have to have a part three and we're gonna do that. I expect total success. And really, the only thing that I did was a couple old cat litter buckets and my antique powered handsaw. Navigator. So, how's it going to work? I think it's going to work fabulously. It's very easy to do it yourself, and I have no expense anything except for the tools, but, you know, you could use this handsaw or whatever. Pretty excited. Winter's coming, folks. So we're getting ready here in northern Michigan. As always... Be good, be safe, you can't be safe, be good and dangerous, and we'll see you next week and see how well our contraption works.